welcome again to the Conservative Historian. A question that I receive a lot is, what are some of the best historical books out there? What are some of the most fun reads? What are the, some of the most incisive or interesting books available? Well, there's a genre called popular history. It's not really a term I'm uh, in favor of, if you will, because it sort of contrasts popular with scholarly history is that the two are somehow two different things, that there's one for the masses and one for the intellectuals. History is history in all of its different ways. But in that popular history genre, I'll use that just for terminology, would be something like Ron Chernow's uh, Alexander Hamilton. And what I love about this particular edition is it even has a little bit of the Hamilton musical uh, association on it. Uh, thank you, Lynn manuel Miranda, because uh, we don't know about how many of these Alexander Hamilton books he helped sell, but uh, Miranda probably should get a royalty on every one of these from Ron Chernow. These are always fun to read, these biographies, and they have a certain narrative already built into them. So in some regards, it's the easiest kind of history as an entree point. I wanted to talk about, though, a little something a little bit different today. This is a different book. It's called How the Irish Saved Civilization by a writer named Thomas Cahill. Now, the title is, is a little bit grandiose, but it is still a very interesting read. But this book, and in fact, Thomas Cahill's entire approach to history, is a series he calls The Hinges of History. What he does is he finds, if you will, almost inflection points in the entire historical narrative, ranging all the way back to the Sumerians and bringing it up to modern times. This is the piece basically about the fall of the Roman Empire. And in this particular case, how Irish monks copied down a series of ancient manuscripts and therefore saved for us everything from Aristotle to Socrates. Would we not have these documents were it not for the Irish? He also has a book called Gifts of the Jews, which goes all the way back to that aforementioned Sumerian times. He has a very interesting book called The Desire of the Seven Hills, and that one is, is about the time of Christ and the beginnings of Christianity. Really interesting. There are additional books on medieval times and the Reformation. So I definitely would say start off with those biographies. They're a really great entry point. And because, as again, the narrative is this already built in, it's easy to kind of figure out your way through it. My only thought on that, though, is we've read about Washington, we've read about Lincoln, we've read about the founders. Maybe branch off to a couple of maybe obscure, uh, lesser-known figures in American history. One of them that I would strongly recommend, biography, called Coolidge by the wonderful Amity Schleiss. Really a terrific read, and I would strongly recommend any book in the Hinges of History series by Thomas Cahill. Thank you.